A very good morning to esteemed panelists, organizers, and the delegates. Myself, Jatinder Kaur, along with Mr. Ripudaman Singh, who is the co-author for the paper that we shall be presenting today, are thankful to the organizing team for giving us this opportunity uh, for the presentation in International Symposium on Urban Villages. Now, the paper is titled "People as Anchors of Place Making: An Assessment Model for Urban Villages of Delhi." Now, first of all, I would like to give you an overview of the presentation, which shall uh, start with brief introduction uh, of like what urban villages are and what are the general issues in these villages. Next, the objective and methodology for the current research shall be put forth. The later slides shall highlight the emergence of urban villages in Delhi, their current scenarios in terms of degradation of the physical and social fabric. then i shall focus on establishing the significance role and connections between people and places which if understood and taken care of can lead to creating a sense of place uh, in the people and it shall lead to place making now i shall uh, also discuss about the loss of place making in urban villages uh, in delhi which is happening uh, today and what are the drivers for this loss of sense of place now the final slides of presentation shall highlight the parameters essential for creating memories and ways to enhance the place attachment now the concluding slides shall present the characteristics and usability of uh, the proposed people centric model for achieving place making which can be used in the regenerative assessments for the urban villages in delhi now the urban villages uh, are actually the transformational uh, outcomes of the rural areas lying in vicinity to the metropolitan city wherein the agricultural lands of these areas are acquired for fulfilling the unmet housing and commercial needs of the growing city but eventually these rural areas or the villages they become pockets of unplanned development because uh, they are confined within the lal doras or the red line on the master plan which means that the areas within these areas um or these lines uh, now they only belong uh, to the village i mean the agricultural lands are lost and these areas are essentially the residential parts of the village also known as the abadi areas now since uh, the sole means of livelihood of villagers that is uh, farming and uh, cattle rearing they are lost due to the acquisition of uh, their agricultural lands and like there are no developmental controls uh, applicable in these areas so the villagers uh, they start expanding their residential areas haphazardly to uh, create rental spaces which they see as the means of their sustenance now the outcomes or the results are cramped neighborhoods narrow streets lack of uh, sanitation lack of communal harmony and uh, vulnerability to health and uh, safety hazards now the objective of uh, this uh, particular paper is to highlight the significance of these people only uh, who can act as the anchors of place making to resolve the issues in the urban villages so the research started with the exploration of uh, literature related to the notion of place making as used in uh, other developing countries then analyzing the existing models are uh, used for assessment of place making and this this analysis finally led to uh, the development of the people centric model uh, for uh, place making now urban villages uh, emerged uh, in the fabric of delhi in the colonial period and it can be seen through this graph that since 1962 the number of villages around delhi have reduced from 362 to 227 and in an inverse relation the number of urban villages has increased from 20 to 135 that means more and more villages uh, got engulfed in the um, in the strive of like expansion of delhi now since uh, the villagers they were not left with uh, their agricultural lands which were their means of livelihood so they either uh, sold off uh, their residential lands to the developers or starting add uh, started adding uh, areas uh, haphazardly to their existing habitable spaces uh for rental purposes to accommodate the migrant housing and some of the commercial needs also now the absence of any developmental controls within these villages actually led to the destruction of their physical fabric on one hand and at the same time many social issues also cropped up uh due to the mix of uh, the migrant and native population now some of the uh, related issues uh, which uh, we can uh, uh we can see are like tensions between these groups caste politics alcoholism drugs 
unemployment, domestic violence, and unsafe uh, spaces for women. Now, it is evident that the issues are related to the people and the place. Now, worldwide researchers have established uh, that uh, such issues related to socioeconomic and cultural differences can be addressed if connections between the people and place uh, are, uh, are understood and uh, if, if, I, if I say it, a place is in fact an extension of its people only who use it, who inhabit it and who associate with it through the various memories. Now, people can and should understand the significance and they, they should, uh, in fact, they, they should be told. I mean, they should be, they can be made aware to utilize the potentials of their villages uh, for uh, their economic benefit too. Now, with all the experiences uh, in these places over time, so these people only, uh, they, they, uh, they, are, they need to be seen as essential for placemaking. But see, what is happening uh, in the urban villages in Delhi is that people are getting disoriented and lost in the struggle of sustenance uh, in the absence of livelihood. Now, issues are arising which are impacting the original character of the villages on one hand and socio-cultural dissatisfaction on the other. So the native population is not able to maintain the physical character of the villages uh, with which they had uh, so many memories for all these years. And the migrant population, on the other hand, is not able to establish a sense of belongingness in these villages. So thus, uh, there is a loss of placemaking in urban villages of Delhi uh, due to uh, the decrease in the village land, due to the loss of the rural elements, due to the loss of the, even the sustainability dimension and the altered uh, socio-cultural attributes. Now, although native population in a in, uh, few villages like Jawala Heli, so they have tried to preserve the physical elements of their village and they have also tried to preserve uh, their culture by promotion of like uh, vegetarian cuisines and um, disallowing the meat shops and um, continuing the celebration of uh, the festivals like the Shara in the village grounds. But still a lot needs to be done. Now the concerted efforts in this direction would be uh, to understand the attributes of placemaking. So these could be uh, divided into four categories uh, of physical, social, cultural, functional, and emotional. So the idea is exploration and preservation of physical parameters, such as street layouts, chopal, well, pond, historic spaces, chalks, and courtyards, as in uh, for the physical attributes. And for the socio-cultural attributes, the local customs, traditions, cuisines, religious events, they need to be understood, they need to be uh, documented. And for the functional attributes, it is important to understand and document the skills and capabilities of all the population groups, whether they are natives or the migrants, so which can be used to improve the economic condition of the villages. Now, the emotional attributes related to ancestral linkages, ethnic practices, sense of pride and belongingness are also significant in creating uh, the, the, and maintaining the place attachment from lowest uh, to the highest level. And thus, the placemaking uh, can be achieved uh, to the maximum. Now, heterogeneity or the mix of population, which is generally seen as one of the drivers of like loss of placemaking, can actually help in um, upgrading the overall uh, built environment of a place if understood properly. Now, a strong sense of communal harmony emanates uh, through the shared activities, uh, the ideas, values, and the skills of the people who, are, who actually can become like a, a larger community where people, uh, they, they don't behave only as individuals, but they become a part of the larger community. Now, apart from adding color and variety to the existing social fabric, this heterogeneity can help to maintain the cultural continuity and formation of resilient um, uh, communities too. Therefore, the people-centric placemaking approach where people, their needs, aspirations, skills, and physiological as well as psychological comfort are given a central stage in regeneration development models shall help in establishing a strong connect of natives with their places, which they shall value and they shall preserve its character. They shall, they shall be participating in developing, utilizing and enhancing the potential of the villages for overall well-being and creative sustenance. People thus become a part of the development process more responsibly. Similar outcomes are also outlined and expected in Master Plan of Delhi 2041. It can be inferred that people are important for placemaking 
as they can help preserve the character of a place with which they have been attached for so many years the existing models of place making focus more on physical form image and activity rather than assessing the potential of people who actually have strong memory association with places therefore the model proposed in this research focuses on people who take center stage and the model can be used to assess and understand various attributes of place making at individual and community levels the attributes related to physical functional social economic and emotional assessments are placed at periphery of the core area the tangible areas of assessment for these four categories are placed in the outer periphery the assessments can start from part to whole that is from outer circle to the inner circle where in the housing needs daily activities livelihood culture ethnicity customs traditions festivals association with signs symbols ancestral, ancestral connections and heritage values can be recorded these assessments can be done through field surveys observations interviews questionnaires and analysis of physical forms the outcomes shall be manifold mainly preserving the character of place and developing sense of pride belongingness boosting creative economies and overall well-being of all in line with the development decisions of un 2030 agenda the model can be used either for iterative modifications in regeneration plans of urban villages or it can be used for pre assessment of villages proposed for inclusion in the category of urban villages so that the developments are pre planned according to the potential of the people and their place thank you